Did you ever wonder how productive is your annotator's team, or how much time it takes for an annotator to finish the task? Welcome to the CBAT Analytics. This video showcases the range of available dashboards where you can find answers to all your questions. There are three dashboards available by default. All Events, Management, and Monitoring. Let's start with All Events. The All Events dashboard provides a comprehensive view of all events, including their timestamps and origins. It is an overview of the entire scope. At the dashboard's top, there are filters doubling as search fields and an activity graph. Hover over the graph to view the timestamp. The scope column indicates the event type, which could involve tasks or projects. Other columns display the time of the event, project ids, tasks, annotator details, and more. For an in-depth understanding of the fields, refer to the link in the video description. The All Events dashboard is a handy tool for tracking raw data. It lets you keep an eye on the workload. You can use filters to focus on specific users, tasks, or projects. So, it's a great tool for understanding overall performance that can be followed by decision-making. The dashboard gives a full picture of all system events in real-time. The Management Dashboard is a simple, powerful tool for overseeing your team's work. You'll see an activity graph at the top. Use filters doubling as search fields or click on the ID under the graph to check out a user's actions. This dashboard also gives a quick picture of all user actions within a certain time. At the bottom, there's a handy table that shows users, jobs, and the time each task took. Use the Management Dashboard to monitor the team's performance. You can use the graph to get an overview of your team's activities and workload distribution. Next, you can check on individual team members by clicking on their IDs and reviewing their activities and task durations. This information can help you to identify who might need additional support. Finally, you can use the dashboard search fields to find specific tasks or users quickly. The insights from the dashboard can help you to make informed decisions about task redistribution, training needs, and work schedule adjustments, thereby boosting overall team productivity and efficiency. Overall, this dashboard helps you manage projects efficiently, understand teamwork patterns, and improve results. You can use it to make accurate estimations regarding project timelines and team capacities, leading to more efficient project management and better results. The monitoring dashboard provides a comprehensive snapshot of user activities and instance status. The active users, now, metric displays the count of currently active users. A graph visualizing the overall activity presents user engagement levels over time. The duration of events and the number of events graphs show the scope, source, and duration of the events. While the exceptions graph illustrates the instance's error frequency. Each error is accompanied by a timestamp, user details, including user ID and user name, project ID, task ID, and job ID, although these may occasionally be empty. Errors are thoroughly described in the error, stack, and payload fields. When the error occurs, the exception field shows a spike. The stack field details the active stack frames at the point of the error, invaluable for debugging. Lastly, the payload field contains a JSON object with comprehensive data about the event causing the failed API request. Use the dashboard to track annotators' work hours, pull up weekly statistics per annotator, and manage productivity across all tasks. For dashboard adjustments, refer to the link documentation. We've just skimmed the surface, the possibilities are endless. Thanks for watching.